Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Lately, we've been getting a lot of really good questions on YouTube, and they're not necessarily about our content. They're more about us. So we figured we'd go ahead and do a Q&A video. We posted some stuff on our social medias earlier this week, and we have some really fun questions, some really good questions. We're excited to answer them, so let's get into it. On this channel, we talk about all things Halloween, Harry Potter, and theme parks. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Heck yo, subscribe. <laughs> all right, guys, so like Tyler said, we are super excited to answer some of these questions. Uh, they're awesome, and we're just gonna have some fun with it. So this may become a little bit more of a regular thing on our channel. Our schedules are kind of calming down calm a little down. bit. Uh, so we're still gonna do our typical, like, you know, theme park kind of tips video yeah. once a week, but we're gonna try to have some more of these, you know, kind of fun, more about us videos yeah, sprinkled like, in there too. Like if, when we go to the parks and we have vlogs, uh, everything will probably still be about Halloween, Harry Potter and theme parks because that's our life. Um, yeah, so let's get into the questions. Our first question is from whatever your name is, Brandon, on, on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. um, he actually asked four separate questions. Yeah. So we're just going to go through each one of these individually. His first question is, how did you two meet? So there was a speeding truck and Anna got her foot caught in a sewer drain. It was open as a manhole. And so I saved her and uh, she fell madly in love with me. Right, what, is this not how you remember it? No, okay. no, this is not, no. Uh, okay, so how we actually met <laughs> is a lot less entertaining. Uh -huh. She doesn't let me do anything. <laughs> um, she played college golf mm -hmm. um, at the local university. Mm -hmm. uh, she played golf all through high school, played college, and I actually worked in the pro shop of the golf course. Mm -hmm. Uh, I played a lot of golf too. I, st I mean, we still both play. Mm, yeah. Occasionally. I play, I still <laughs> play. But, so we just sort of met like that. We've, we've played in a lot of tournaments together. Yeah. Like just, we just always knew each other. Yeah. And then. We're both out there like yeah, every day. Like, yeah, pretty much every day. So yeah, it, it's really not anything too crazy. We just, we're both in the same place. All right, so his next question is, when was the first time you went to Universal? So this is going to be different for both yes. of us. So the first time I went to Universal was with my dad and my brother. Mm -hmm. My sister may have been there. I can't remember. She would have been really young, so I don't, think, I don't think she was with us. I'm not sure. But that was in 1995. Um, I believe it was 95. 95 or 96. Um, so Islands of Adventure wasn't even there. Uh, Harry Potter was yet to twinkle in J.K. Rowling's eye. Like, <laughs> like there. I don't think any of this. Yeah, like I, I remember like confrontation, Jaws, like those right Back to the Future, Hanna Barbera. I remember those rides. It may have been a little bit later than ninety six or ninety five, ninety six. I can't remember. It's like it was like ninety five to ninety seven. I was very young, so I don't fully remember. I remember certain aspects of the trip. But yeah, that was my first time. So mine is very different from that. I was in college the oh. first time that I went. Uh, my parents were wanting to do like a vacation around Christmas. Oh, okay. And my mom was wanting to go to the beach and being the Harry Potter fanatic that I am, I literally just would not leave them alone until they agreed to take me to Universal. And so I was probably 18, maybe 19, 19 yeah. 18 or 19 the first time that I went. Um, yeah, so that's been, like seven, eight years ago. I don't if you were 19, it's been six years ago. Uh, yep, yep, got the calculator out, six <laughs> years. Yeah, so uh, he went way before I did. I didn't see I'm like old. Twister or Kong. Confrontation. Confrontation, yeah, I'm none so of that. Um, both Harry Potter worlds were built the first time that I went. Yeah. So very much, very similar to how it is now. Yeah. Whatever your name is, Brandon's third question is, do you have any investments such as index funds, EFT, 401k, or Roth IRA? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. 
<laughs> Next. Uh, all right, and his last question is, how are you both so amazing? <sighs> Shucks. Um, well, you know, I eat, I eat a lot of oatmeal. And sometimes, what? <laughs> sometimes I contribute it to that. Um, I really like oatmeal. Uh, I, I drink several Diet Dr. Peppers a day. I, I mean, Diet Dr. Pepper and oatmeal, that's kind of, that's the recipe. <laughs> so if you, Diet Dr. Pepper, some oatmeal, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the recipe. I'll get you there. Our next question is from Arctic Dawn on Instagram, and he asks, can we meet up at HHN 21? There's a small problem with that. HHN 21 was 10 years ago. But I'm guessing you met HHN 31, and we would love to meet anyone. Uh, we'll be down there at least uh, probably a couple weeks for HHN this year. Um, maybe more, who knows. But at least a couple weeks. So, yeah, I mean, we would love to meet Anybody that would like to meet us, uh, like, yeah, we're, we're down. We'd love to go through some haunted houses. Let's go. <laughs> Our next question is from Zombie Chris, and it is... Real quick, friend of the channel. Like, if you haven't checked out his content, he does great videos on YouTube. You should really go check him out. Uh, yeah, this is an awesome question that he asked. So he says, describe what you think might be the other's perfect theme park day. So this is going to be fun because we read the question when he first sent it. Mm -hmm. And we both decided we weren't even going to discuss it. Right. Uh, I'll be honest. I had sort of forgotten to even think <laughs> about the question. So this should be fun. Mm -hmm. This should be entertaining. <laughs> Tell us at least. Uh, maybe you'll like it. How about you go first? Oh, gosh. Okay. So, oh, man. I think the first thing you would like to do is start out in Universal Studios. Okay. Okay. Hop on Rip Ride Rocket. Okay. To start the morning. Okay. Nice little adrenaline rush. Some coffee, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that That's my coffee. Right. I don't drink coffee. And then from there, we're going to make our way to the mummy. Okay. Okay. Just around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. Hop on that. Then we're going to go straight to Diagon Alley. We're going to get a butterbeer and probably some butterbeer ice cream from Florian's. Yeah. Right? Like share it. Okay. Sounded good so far. <laughs> Uh, then while we're there, of course, we're going to hop on Escape from Gringotts and ride it. Then we're going to run over to... Perhaps a little dose of pain to help you remember. <laughs> then we're going to run over to Men in Black um, so you can brag about beating me like usual. And then we're going to... Because she has a broken gun. <laughs> I don't make up excuses. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to circle back. To Diagon Alley, okay. where we're gonna jump on the Hogwarts Express. It's not Diagon Alley, but. Uh, okay, King's Cross Station in London. We're gonna take the Hogwarts Express over to Hogsmeade, okay, where we're gonna ride Hagrid's probably a couple times if this is your perfect theme park okay. day. Like we'll say two, three times. Okay. All right. A little low, but yeah. <laughs> While we're there, we're gonna hop on Forbidden Journey. Mm hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna go to Jurassic Park. Okay. Okay, we're gonna ride the uh, River Adventure. Okay. And we're gonna go. Sounded to, good. Then we're gonna go to that one little snack stand there that has like the empanadas and. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna get some snacks there. That'll be like our lunch. You love those, don't <laughs> even. <laughs> so then we're gonna make our way towards uh, Marvel Island. Okay. And we're gonna ride Spider Man. Mm-hmm and the Hulk. We're gonna skip Doom because you're not the biggest fan of Doom. I just want seatbelts on Doom. <laughs> that's, that's it. So we'll ride those two rides. Um, and then, I don't know what time it's gonna be at that point, but at, you know, we're just gonna hang out, maybe try to ride Hagrid's a couple more times, yeah. and then have dinner at Cowfish and City Walk. Okay, I like it. You missed one thing. Okay. I'm definitely getting a like the fizzy pumpkin juice and I'm definitely getting fish and chips from somewhere either like Lombard's Diagon Alley like uh, Three Leaky Broomsticks Cauldron, three Leaky Cauldron, Cauldron six. Uh, Leaky Cauldron Three Broomsticks somewhere but not bad sounds like a great day okay so with Anna some stuff will be similar we are going to walk in the park and she is going to she's going to walk at like a brisk one mile an hour while I sprint 
to Diagon Alley. And I grab like four butter beers, <laughs> frozen. Um, if the warm one's there, three frozen, one warm. Um, yeah. And that's how you're going to start off your morning. Uh, I'll meet you at, by sprinting back and you'll be somewhere near Jimmy Fallon's, I'm sure. Uh, we will keep heading towards Diagon Alley, uh, where we will eventually arrive and she will want to ride Escape from Green Guns. Um, we will definitely be buying a wand and we'll go to all the magic spots in Diagon Alley. And then I think we're going to walk out of there. And we're going to go over to the London area, like right up to the London area, and we're going to get a jacket potato. Um, she's not going to get sour cream on it because she doesn't eat sour cream. Um, and then for some reason, she will want to proceed to Men in Black where she just gets smoked. Just And she'll be like, oh, let's ride it again so you can beat me. And I'll be like, okay, that's fine, <laughs> sweetheart. And we'll go over there and I'll just like pepper. I mean, it'll be like hundreds of thousands of points. And she'll just be like, oh, you know, you're so good. And I'll be like, yeah, I know, but you married me. And then we will probably... Um, <laughs> We'll probably head to the front of the park and ride Rip Ride Rocket. I, I, I'm going to say at least twice. And then we have to ride the mummy. Um, at least twice. Uh, yeah, and then we're probably going to do the same thing. We're probably going to uh, hop on Hogwarts Express. We're going to head over to Islands Adventure, get off at Hogsmeade. Uh, and we're probably... We're probably going to go ahead and ride Hagrid's mm -hmm. uh, once or twice. Uh, we're probably going to ride Forbidden Journey. We're definitely doing that. Um, I'm just trying to think of where she would want food. I probably messed up. She'd probably want Louie's Pizza while we were over there. So let's pretend that I got Louie's Pizza <laughs> to make this day really special. Um, and then uh, apparently we're going to get some empanadas or whatever they are. <laughs> Cause they're so good. Don't act like you didn't love them. They were fine. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go get those because that's her perfect day. Um, yeah, definitely we're going to end up hitting... She's not going to get on River Adventure. She likes it. She doesn't love it. Uh, I don't like getting wet. Mm. It's just not fun. Okay. But uh, we're definitely riding Spider-Man. We're definitely riding Doom like three times. <laughs> like... I, don't get me wrong, I like them. And it's a beautiful ride at night. Mm -hmm. But I do not, just give me a seatbelt. Like, <laughs> like if those things come up, just give me like a second little, like, oh, yeah, that's safe. Don't, I mean, yeah, just give me a seatbelt and I'm fine. We're definitely riding Hulk, probably twice. Um, and then from there, we're probably heading over to Seuss Land and we're getting some tots. Because, oh, yeah, she really loves the pizza tots. And she loves the hoo hash, like so. We're Ooh. getting hoo hash pizza tots. We might get a kebab or two. I don't know. Just Finish up with Poseidon's Fury. Day. <laughs> no. no, no, no. But then we're definitely going out to City Walk, and it's probably Calf. No. Sorry, it's Antihitos. We are going to Antihitos, <laughs> and she's That's going to eat tacos. all the tacos, like every taco they have. As long as it doesn't have guacamole on it. Like I said, she's weird sometimes and she doesn't like guacamole. Hey, does that sound good? That... It sounds pretty good. There's a, f well, so first of all, we try. I'm not sure how much you think I can eat in one day because you mentioned a lot of food and I'm a little insulted by the four butter beers. Okay. Uh, like at most, one for each of us at once. I mean, like later in the day, I could get more. Um, I've gotten pictures. I, if I can find one, I'll put it up here, uh, of the Orlando Informer meetup where we had like five <laughs> in our hands. We were just like, oh, yeah, we, did, we didn't drink all of all of them. We. <laughs> uh, another thing that you missed is the Storm Force acceleration, uh, the spinning the cups. Yeah, I, she loves that. I'm like the, it's, not, it's, not, it's not open right now. That's why I forgot. Right. I'm like the only person in the world that likes spinny rides mm -hmm. i love them that like they're so fun so definitely that um yeah also i think on hagrid's i think it would be ride it until we get front row it could be a while <laughs> it could be a while uh but the front row is great i've never been on the bike in the front row ever so of course um <laughs> 
And then, yeah, either antihitos or cowfish. Yeah. It's a toss up. Um, really, what I love at antihitos is the salsa and chips. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that sounds like a pretty good day. I'm in on it. Okay, real quick, we got a pretty amazing email um, from the Lavelle family. And, like, I don't really know what to say. It, it, it made us feel good about what we were doing here. Uh, we just wanted to say hello. Yeah, absolutely. So they mentioned their two daughters, Madison and Ella, and yeah. said that they really enjoy our videos. Yeah. So we just wanted to say hi and say thank you for watching. Also, Moose and Gino wanted to say hi as well. Yeah, they so said, They said they liked the videos with the dogs in them. We love the videos with the dogs <laughs> in them. So yeah, Moose and Gino wanted to say hello. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah. Our next question is from Universal Travels 2, mm -hmm. and they asked our, what our favorite rides in each park are and our favorite thing to eat or drink in the parks. Okay. So, favorite ride in each park. That's tough uh -huh. because it sort of changes mm -hmm. depending on the kind of mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, there's some days where, and it's not very popular, but like Rip Ride Rocket, I love Rip Ride Rocket. Same. Um... So for me, it's, I don't know, like we love Men in Black. Okay, I, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna say <clears throat> Rip Ride Rocket mm -hmm. in uh, Universal mm -hmm. and then in Islands of Adventure, um, Poseidon's Fury, is that kind of, <laughs> No, that's the second time I've, we've dropped that name. Um, no, definitely Hagrid's, I mean, I just don't. I really don't think it's close at this point. I'm hoping with the Lost Coaster coming up, it's it could be like close, but mm -hmm. Haggard's is just, it's incredible if you've never ridden it. Food? Uh, so drink, it's going to just be butterbeer uh, in both <laughs> parks. Frozen butterbeer is just that's mm. what it's going to be. Food. Um, I can't, I, th I think it's called the Fisherman's Basket or something at... Lombards. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we really like that. So, I, I mean, I really, I, I especially really like that. So, that's probably over in Universal in Islands. That's a tough one. Um, oh, gosh. I mean, pro I mean, it, it might be the fish and chips from. I have already messed up. It's the crepes. It's the, it's it is the brisket crepe. It is one hundred percent the brisket crepe in Universal, and then it's probably fish and chips at Islands of Adventure. That's probably it. Okay, so for my two favorite rides, I was going to say Rip Ride Rocket and Hagrid's yeah. as well. Uh, I mean, Hagrid's is just flawless. It's that it's that or the Mummy, honestly. In in studios, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's either Rip Ride Rocket or the Mummy. Yeah. And Rip Ride Rocket just has a little bit more of that wow factor. The first time I rode the Mummy, it it was like more exhilarating because yeah. there's some surprises in there. But Rip Ride Rocket is just yeah. we love it. Yeah, it's great. Um, and as far as food, the drink is frozen butter beer, 100%. And the food is a little bit harder. Um, I was thinking crepes. They actually took away the Your crepe that crepe. I liked, which was the like chicken and what goat cheese or yeah, feta something cheese, like that. something like that. Um, the jacket potatoes are great. She does like a jacket potato. Oh man, that like that's a really hard choice. I, probably the potatoes, but I just love potatoes. Um, and then in Islands of Adventure, it'd probably have to be. Either the uh, pizza tots or the who hash from Green Eggs yeah, and I Ham. I forgot about. Yeah. I don't even forget about that I, stuff. I, 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 think, fish I think that's what it would have to be. The who hash. Right? Yeah. There you go. Our next question is from uh, one of our longtime yeah, viewers. Like long for us. Like she's <laughs> like uh, she always she's very interactive with us. We always appreciate it. She. She asks us a lot of questions. We we really do appreciate you. Yes. Yeah, so this question is from Jen L. Mm -hmm. And she asked, what is your Harry Potter history and how did you get into Harry Potter and Universal? So like I'll answer my Harry Potter history and mm -hmm. then you can sort of tell my story. Like you understand. My mom bought me the first book when it came out. I think I was like, I'm going to age myself here. I was between... I was like 10 to 12. I was like right in the age range where it was, uh, where it was like magical. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, think, I may have been I may have been 11. But so my mom bought me the first book. Uh, I read it, but I didn't really go past that for many, many years. 
Um, and then, yeah, I'll let you sort of... Okay, so when I was little, I was much younger when the Harry Potter series came out, and I could not read. And so my mom, when she would put... She still can't very well. <laughs> <laughs> so when my mom would put my brother and I to bed, she would read Harry Potter to us. And so, like, we would lay in bed, and she would read the books to us. And so that... We did that through the fourth book. Um, and so that was kind of my introduction to Harry Potter. I loved it. Yeah. I remember when the first movie came out and we went to the movie theaters and I remember being like afraid of the ending because it like, it was Voldemort and it was creepy yeah. and like, uh, and then I remember laughing when Quirrell like crumbles into stone because the scary thing was gone. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I was very, very young and I've been a huge fan since the beginning. And so when we started dating you know of course i was like i love harry potter and he's like oh uh, yeah like whatever I, I, I like you know i was like yeah i read the first book like yeah. i really liked it but i just wasn't he hadn't seen any of the movies i had not seen a single movie right um, and so he was like i had to push to get him sort of to watch the movies and so finally i was they're like, a commitment i mean they we are. Were, yeah and so finally i convinced him to like take a couple days and sit down and we watched all the movies and two things happened. First of all, he fell in love. Second of all, after like, I don't know, somewhere in the fifth movie. Hey, he, spoiler alert. It, She's about to say something that's a spoiler alert. These, <laughs> If you haven't seen, you know, we could spoil the 20 something year old story, but spoiler alert. There we go. So we were watching uh, the fifth movie, I think uh, it was. It may have been the fifth. And yeah. something happened and it was when they first explained what Horcruxes were. Maybe it was the sixth movie. I don't remember when. Yeah. When he finds out from Slughorn that uh, Tom Riddle was asking about Horcruxes, and he looks at me and goes, "Harry's a Horcrux," and. I wanted to punch him because you're not supposed to figure it out and you're supposed to be surprised at the end. But anywho, so he absolutely fell in love with it at that yeah. point. And, and then we started reading the books, mm -hmm. listening to the audiobooks, like, and at this point, and this has only been like, what, six years ago, something, mm -hmm. five, yeah. five, six years ago. Um, I guarantee I've seen the movies at least 10 times. Oh, like, yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. uh, we've listened to the audiobooks quite a bit. Um, it's easier to, you know, like, I feel bad for sometimes for just sitting down and reading, but yeah. Our Harry Potter history is kind of different. Like, I was introduced to it when it first started, but I didn't just, like, dive into it. Mm -hmm. um, but I really regret it at this point. <laughs> uh, that would have been cool being 11 when yes. the first book came yeah. out and, like, going. I, I regret it. Like, to this day, I still regret it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, it was... The way it happens is fine, because now... I, I mean, I may love it even more than she does. Like, I, I walk around... Like, you think I put this on for the video? <laughs> no. Like, I went into town with this on today. <laughs> and she also asked about, like, our history with Universal. Okay. So, for me, it was Harry Potter driven, 100%. Yeah. I, I didn't... I mean, I like roller coasters, but I was... I just really wanted to come see the Harry Potter world and I pestered my parents until they agreed. Like I said, I started the addiction kind of young. Um, like I said, my first time there was 95 to 97. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Like I took, there was like a hiatus <laughs> there yeah. where I didn't go for a while, but since I started going back, we go. And then since, you know, we, we've been together, like we go as much as possible. I mean, right. uh, we're trying to find a way to be down there soon. So yeah, like our history with, like I got, I'm excited about it. Cause I've pretty much got to see, like I've gotten to see everything that's been there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I sort of have like the nostalgia, the, 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 the nostalgia, like there's a lot of like the great rides, like the retro stuff they're releasing, mm -hmm. like it makes me think back to my first trips, and uh, it, it's just really, it's really neat to see where they're going and uh, some, some of the ideas they that are out there about what their like their future and stuff. Uh, we're actually probably going to do a video sort of about that, so that's just for a little spoiler. But yeah, like that's kind of our history. That was a great like those were all great questions. Mm -hmm. uh, like I know we rambled, but 
we were just sort of having fun with it. Like, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you stuck around and listened to what we had to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we like that was a, that was a lot of fun. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Seriously, like I, I know I've said that a couple of times, but we really enjoyed that. So if you if you enjoyed that, let us know in the comments down below. Like. Tell us that you enjoyed this kind of time. And we're not saying to do Q&A a bunch. We're just talking about just more us. Our, yeah, like, us talking, our us, opinions yeah, on like things. Yeah, like us just rambling. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you can tell. We kind of like to talk. <laughs> and so we, we we enjoy these kind of videos. So, yeah, we'd love to do just fun activities. If you have video <laughs> ideas, let us know. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.